know you're on it. Thank you, Riel. Our team coverage continues with 10 News reporter Michael Chen, who is live in our newsroom. And Michael, some believe the Dallas shooting could deeply change the psyche of our law enforcement, including here in San Diego. They do, and I want to begin by showing you this image. A man wearing a Black Lives Matter Dallas shirt holding another shirt that reads police lives matter. Tonight, one former officer believes the mindset of officers will now change, which could impact community safety. Chaos on a Dallas street. A deadly ambush amid a large concentration of police. And that's risen to something that has never occurred uh, in this country. Former El Cajon police officer Kevin LaChapelle worked for seven years in patrol and the gang unit. Have we reached a tipping point here? I think this is very, very significant. For this kind of an attack on their psyche is going to definitely have consequences in how they do their job. La Chappelle says the officer's immediate concern is copycats. If you're in law enforcement, how are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm sitting duck, I'm gonna go out on patrol. He believes the mindset will creep in out in the field, including traffic stops. We used to be the officer can focus on the vehicle itself, now the officer's got to focus on the vehicle and what's going on around me. He says a divided attention could add to the dangers. La Chapelle believes new policies could come to protect officers, patrols in pairs, even a third officer. Because now one officer is going to have to be assigned to basically protecting the officers while they do their job. That could stretch police manpower. In some cases, La Chapelle believes officers will be less willing to engage, for example, suspicious activity at a park. So an officer also is probably going to have to ask themselves, is it really worth the risk of coming into a park and talking to someone, or maybe I should not approach the situation, which can result in increased crimes and a number of other things that the community will end up uh, having the consequences of. In response to the shootings and the divisive tone across the country, La Chapelle says his own nephew, a deputy in another state, posted on Facebook this morning, why am I doing this job? His response, you do it because this is who you are. Michael Chen, 10 News. Clearly raises the threat of ambush. Thank you. The Dallas shootings have triggered a wave of attacks on officers across the country. Early this morning in Tennessee, a highway sniper shot at passing cars and police. One woman killed three others wounded, including an officer. And when police arrived, the man fired at them. He told investigators he was angry about police violence against African Americans. In St. Louis, a gunman targeted at a police officer during a traffic stop. The officer spoke with the suspect and then turned to walk back to his patrol car when the suspect got out of the car and fired three gunshots. The gunman took off but was caught a short time later. Tonight, that shot police officer is in critical but stable condition. And in South Georgia, a man called 911 to report a car break-in. He then ambushed the officer who came to help. The officer shot at the man. They both were hit with the gun battles during the gun battle, but they are expected to survive.